Well, Creality changed some things up a little bit. Well, I was setting up my new printers and I have three uh, Creality K1 Maxes that I ordered. And the first one um, was what you would expect. Um, the hot end that it is in it um, is, you know, the original hot ends that came with them. Um, it's got the red sock. I shouldn't say the original, but it's got the red sock. Um, and I could easily install my Micro Swiss um, Flowtech nozzles. Well, I broke into the second box and went and took off the, um, the nozzle and took off the first screw and it was like half the length of the original screws. And they're silver, not black. Well, I got both screws out and the hot end just kind of like falls out. And come to discover, there is a whole new hot end that Creality apparently is shipping. Um, I wish I would have known this especially considering I got one original now and one of this new style, and I don't even know what the third box looks like yet. But um, I wish this would have been like a submodel change or something, because the whole um, heat sink that is in here as well is different, and so I can't even install the aftermarket nozzle that I, or hot end that I want to put on here on this without replacing the heat sink. So I am going to break into the third box and I will let you know what I find and uh, we will assess from here and I'll show some upfront or up close videos uh, of these new nozzles too. Um, they're rather interesting. All right, so I broke into the third box. It is the original uh, K1 Max. So at least I have two printers that I was gonna add out here anyways to the, the population um, that I will be able to put uh, the Flowtech nozzle on. But that is a bit frustrating because that very, that's very inconsistent. Um, and the fact that I got two of the original and one of the new, um, especially considering like it is complete no it is a complete hot end like nozzle change. Um, the nozzles are a complete nozzle um, with the heat break built in, and I mean all my old nozzles, even if I wanted to use them, which I don't, but you know for anybody that does keep the originals on them. If you bought all new nozzles, you would not, or all of the original style nozzles, you wouldn't be able to use them um, on the printer. Um, I wish Creality maybe would have done a little bit better, um, you know, differentiation of models so that you didn't get this. Um, I'm hoping that I can reach out to them and have them at least give me the old heat sink. Um, and I worry because I have ordered some stuff in their. Um, parts store before and typically when you order stuff in their parts store you get the most like current uh, iteration of it so that was um, when I had the extruder issue where the extruder was relaxing over time instead of me you know going and trying to get Creality to send me all of them and go through all the warranty stuff I just ordered a whole bunch of the um, extruder gearing systems um, and I got all the, you know, new style. I worry with the heat, uh, the heat sink, I'm going to run into that same issue. So hopefully I can reach out to Creality. They can send me um, maybe a replacement um, so they can use the Flowtech because um, I actually really, really like it. 
um, it's nice. I will say with the new Creality one, it is intended to where you don't have to um, do the heat um, set anymore. It is one nozzle um, to where you have uh, the nozzle, the heat break, the um, essentially the copper transfer, and then it's got an actual extension tube um, off the top as well. So I mean, I get where they're going with it. That's great. Um, but for somebody like me that is expecting the original stuff um, and I'm running a print form and I want consistency amongst my printers, um, this doesn't work out very well. So anyways, uh, more to come and I'll maybe post another video um, when I maybe get a response from Creality.